Holy moly, you see their you're doing Double header right off the bat. I you're love doing it. Awesome. Okay. And these are the people that that are that are giving everything they've got, including their lives a lot of times to, to protecting you. And it was very meaningful to be to be out there and sharing that moment with them. You just officially caught a tarpon, man. Good job. <laughs> there he is, right at the oh, boat. Tip sweet. Under the boat. Come to the left. Oh, there you go. Lift up. You got him. You, you got, got him. him. Got him. Got him. What okay, a tarpon. Awesome, off. man. Yes. Look at that guy. That is a shark. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught. Woo! I'm going to continue. I got him. Relax. Oh, my God. K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. Morning, Rich. Hey. How's it going? This hey is my guys. friend Hi. Greg and Diane. Hi, nice Greg. To meet you. How you doing? Nice Diane? You. Pleasure, pleasure. Y'all ready to catch some fish? Give it a shot. Think we can get them to catch something? What do you guys want to, uh, want to How try? How about we go for a, a lot of variety? Sure, sure. We got a ton of these uh, filters for bait, so everything in the ocean eats them, so, so we can. Um, try to catch a little bit of everything if you want. Excellent. Might, uh, might go try some of the bridges right now, and then, um, then we'll you know, maybe catch a big shark later, something like that. Sounds cool. good. Shark? Well, hop, hop on. Yeah, that sounds good to me. <laughs> okay. Watch, watch your step again, right here. <laughs> one of no. you sit up front here, and one of you no, sit No, we're going to make sure fish. nothing bites. Taking those soldiers fishing, that was one of the most special events we've had all, all year. Those are great people, and you know, a guy that has been in touch with me telling me about this Project Healing Waters. His name's Nathan Stodgehill, and he is just extremely passionate about his his cause, which is rehabilitating soldiers, active military and veterans that have been injured and more through fly fishing and, and fly tying education. And fly fishing in in itself is a great thing for that because you know it's it's uh, it's a way that you can get out and you can you can do something you know and, and learn how to cast or learn how to tie flies one little step and that's what I learned from Diane and Greg is that you know they were so severely injured that they were in the they were in the hospital for over a year and you know getting out there was just one one step and realizing that that, that I could cast a fly rod a little bit or I could hold the fly rod or I could tie a fly that was just one step and it was as much emotional recovery as it was physical recovery and just realizing that that you know if you could do that if you could t cast a fly rod then you can comb your hair. You know, if you can comb your hair, you can do one thing else, and one thing builds on another until, until you know, you realize that, that you're going to have a regular life again. You're going to be, you're going to be okay. And very obviously, Project Healing Waters has been been a really big part of, of both Greg and Diane's recovery. Well, it's, and it's incredible to see an organization using what we love and are good at as a healing method like that, as therapy, and. That's the great thing about fishing is it doesn't matter how what your physical ability is. You can go out there and get involved in it. And seeing somebody take advantage of that in a therapeutic way, it's incredible. Okay, just start reeling hard and fast. Hard she and fast, got, hard and fast, hard and fast. Set the hook. Lift the line and lift it up. Oh my god. You're good. You're, good. You're, in a, you're on the other side. You're doing awesome. Watch the run. Oh, we got one. Set the hook. Yeah. Holy moly, you see are so Double header right off the bat. I love it. Awesome. Okay. Greg and Diane showed up, you know, immediately the smile on their face. You could tell they were excited. I, I mean, I always feel like undue pressure when somebody's excited and they, you know, like, man, I want to show this person the best time ever. And that day, it was pretty cool because we didn't have to go very far. We had the bait. We go right to the bridge. First thing, I mean, it was a melee immediately, and I was just smiling ear to ear because I'm just watching Greg and I'm watching Diane, and they're having the time of their life. And then this is a Jack Creval. These things are really fun. One of the best fish in the, in the ocean to catch, and Holy really God. a fun one for your first time ever. All right, Tom, we got another one coming to you too. Awesome. Wow. Tip left. Okay. It was very meaningful to be to be out there and sharing that moment with them, and. Um, and these are the people that that are that are given everything they've got, including their lives, a lot of times to, to protecting you. And if you're a fisherman, you've got something to give to that organization. And the most important thing that you could do is is just just exactly what we did, man. Just give your time. What do you think, Greg? Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> not bad, huh? 
Go ahead, I got the rock. He's gone. Way to go. <laughs> Lay him down awesome. in there. He's good to go. Good job. Let's see if we can not catch too much on the revival here, because sometimes a big shark comes up and grabs oh, grabs him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite like the trout stream. <laughs> but good job, buddy. Wait up, go. All right. Hey. How about that for a start, huh? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> uh, you're, just you're, not getting getting you're, not, you're just getting started. I should have had a bigger dinner. <laughs> Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. Surround yourself with what matters most. By Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. By Mercury, number one on the water. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. By Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. And by Under Armour, Yeti Coolers, Marine Formula Stable, and by Power Pole. Oh, Greg's got one. Double header? <laughs> Here you go, Tom. <laughs> this is the spot to be. Oh, my over okay, under? Or? Yep. There you go. Great job. I'm definitely going to be more and more involved in this because Project Healing Waters, it's, it's a fantastic organization that's spreading. I think they have over 70 locations. And, you know, they are, they are the people that are, that are fighting to keep our country the way that it is. And they're dedicating their lives to preserving and protecting our, our lives. And Greg and Diane, they were injured. They were, they were hurt badly. And you know, when, when they were catching those fish, I, I'm sure they're kind of thinking about the whole process that they've gone through to, to get to where they were right now, to be the representatives for, for Project Healing Waters like they are and, and what it's meant to them. And you know, this really, really was a special trip for them. And, and it was great to be out there with them and to experience that with them. Yeah, that's the best one yet. Woo! Very nice. Oh what do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> you can grab bait right out of there. This side. Very nice. Oh, that takes a lot out of you. Yeah, I know. You know they're getting big when you know, I can barely put my hand around. I mean, Diane had a smile. She's got just a wonderful smile anyway. She's a very warm person. And you could just see that she was just beaming, man. And Greg, man, he's just like, wow, I never knew fishing could be like this. Greg, because Greg was pumped up. You know, Greg has, Greg has done a little bit more fishing than Diane, but Diane was telling me that her fishing has been in a trout stream, and, and that's great. You know, that's how I got started fishing. I love trout fishing, but you don't see the, the, the chaos, like what we had going on there. I mean, we had chaos. We had doubles and, and incredible stuff, and we got there, and I'm thinking, okay, well, we'll just catch these jacks, and they're going to be thrilled with these jacks because they'd never caught them before, and they were happy with it. I kept asking them, you know, you guys good with this? You like this? Yeah, oh, I man. asked them. They were smiling from ear to ear. Yeah. Just couldn't, couldn't wait to get the we next one. We don't want to go water. anywhere else. This is great. So, you know, we're thinking, well, you know, maybe there is something else. Maybe we could chum a little harder, fish in a little bit different place, or well, do I, something I, I to get. Knew, I knew the tarpon were there, but the jacks were so, so ravenous. We were catching those on every cast. I think it took took a while for you know once the jacks kind of moved out a little, then the tarpon started to bite. Oh, tarpon! We got a tarpon! Real, 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 real. Got a tarpon. Nice job. Right now, when he, when he jumps, you're gonna lower the rod to him. There he is. Real, 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 real. Come right back here, right in the corner. Look at him jumping. Nice. nice. Pretty good nice. introduction right back there. To the right. Give him a little slack and get lower. I'm trying to nice job, Greg. Tarpon. All right, right. reel down the right leader. Right down to the fly. There you go. Oh, you just officially cut it. There he is, right oh, at the boat. Tip sweet. Under the boat. Nice cool. job, Greg. All right. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. Diane. Right over here. <laughs> got to come to the left. Oh, there you go. Lift up. You got him. You, you got, got him. him. We got him. Sweet. Line. What okay, a tarpon. Awesome, man. You got to let him go. Let him. Let that line go a little bit. There you go. Sweet. Sweet. And, but the thing was, is that they were so happy and, and so into what they were doing. Like, you know, I was asking Greg, you know, how many tarpon did you catch? He's like, well, I, I think I caught three. And Diane's like, you caught three tarpon? Really? Because <laughs> she didn't, she was so focused on what she was doing, catching, that she, you know, the rest of the world was just gone. And you know what? That is exactly what Project Healing Waters is all about. It's that, that you get into it and you're doing your thing and, and the rest of the world is just gone. Beautiful man. Touch his mouth there. See how rough it is. Very like sandpaper. abrasive, yeah. What do you Beautiful think, dude? fish. Huh? I'm happy with that. But with saltwater, I've always caught striped bass and bluefish. And I thought today was gonna be like every other day where we go out and it's a marathon day. 
and uh, today was com completely different from what I was expecting. We got out there, within 30 minutes, we had a double. You know, two minutes later, we had another double. I think the ratio from cast to fish landed was almost one to one, so it was pretty intense. I was excited. I couldn't wait to get out there. And then when that first fish hit and I felt the power that it had, I was scared. <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to be able to reel this thing in. I don't have the strength. <laughs> it was amazing. I'd never caught anything that big. I've never fished out in salt water like that. Trout fishing on a stream was about it. Bass fishing in a lake. And I don't think that I could ever go back to bass fishing. <laughs> It was exciting. Good position there. Okay, Ooh, cool, Jack. All right, Jack. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get up. Yes, this is the best trip I've ever been on, as far as Project Healing Waters and or my you know personal life trips. I've never been to the, the Keys, and I've never fished with such well-known anglers. And uh, I'm very, very thankful for the opportunity. Sweet. <laughs> that is a great first saltwater fish on fly. I never thought I'd ever be here, that's for sure. <laughs> but when I stay here today and I'm like, it's a beautiful day, I'm in Florida Keys, fishing. Most people would kill to be in my position. And I'm thankful for every second. I'm here to just lift him out of the water. Well done. Sweet. First fish on fly <laughs> in the job, ocean. Diane. the advances in electronics, I choose to rig my boats differently than I ever have before. Now I have two big Lowrance HDS units, and therefore I can't have as many gauges to monitor what my engine's doing. Mercury has the new SmartCraft gauge, which gives me everything I would ever need to know about my Mercury Verado in one small unit. I can monitor how much fuel I've used, how much I have remaining, the estimated distance that I can travel, water pressure, temperature, I can monitor my troll control, but more importantly, I now know exactly how much fuel I'm using and exactly how to run my boat to get maximum fuel economy. And with today's gas prices, that's one of the most important things. And of course, the Mercury Verado is the most fuel efficient motor I've ever used. Go check out the Mercury Verado paired with a SmartCraft gauge. I'm sure you're going to decide just like I did, it's the best on the market. We were activated the summer of 2007. We were sent over to Kirkuk in Iraq, which is north of Baghdad. I was in country for a month. And one night, just walking from the armory back to my quarters, I got caught um, by a 80 millimeter rocket that was launched onto the base. And it landed about 25 feet behind me. I came to and I really thought that I was dreaming. I didn't know that anything had happened. Then I heard the siren go off and then I knew we got bombed, I got hit, and I better scream. As soon as that pain hit, it was it. I just didn't, I was like, just let me go. And then I woke up in Balad. I was an infantry officer in the United States Army. Went through about a year and a half of, of training, ranger school, airborne school. And from there, I went up to uh, 10th Mountain Division in New York. And we were, ultimately, we were deployed to Iraq, just south of Baghdad. About 10 months into my deployment, uh, I was on a dismounted operation. And uh, we were fighting, and a bomb went off next to me. And uh, I woke up a week later. I was in a coma. I don't remember anything happening. I woke up a week later and I was in Walter Reed Army Hospital in Washington, D.C. I couldn't see. Both my eyes were punctured with shrapnel. I was intubated because I was in a coma, so I couldn't talk, I couldn't do anything, really. And uh, one of my buddies was there, and this was one of my buddies that I was in Georgia with, and I was in New York with, and I was in Iraq with. And uh, he basically took me by the hand a few months later and brought me down to casting practice, and I had no clue what casting practice was until I went down there. And what it was was this Project Healing Waters organization, and they were teaching 
injured soldiers how to fly fish. Um, I was at Walter Reed and in one of my occupational therapy sessions, they introduced me to the program coordinator that this is the man you want to hook up with. And if you like fishing, you're going to have a great time. So I was a little reluctant at first because I was in a wheelchair. I couldn't use my legs. I couldn't use my right arm, which was my dominant arm. And I spied on him for like two weeks and then eventually they caught me <laughs> and wheeled me over into the grass and I was stuck in the mud so I couldn't go anywhere anyway. <laughs> so they put a fly rod in my, my left hand and taught me how to cast left-handed. Uh, my vision was actually pretty bad. Uh, they put a few strike indicators on the line, you know, no matter what I was using. But uh, they worked with me and they work with a lot of other people who have worse injuries than me and they were able to they're able to uh, adapt and help out the, the injured soldier. The first time I went to the river, it was an emotional thing because I had been in the hospital dealing with, you know, getting casted. They're trying to get me up out of bed. And so the first time I got out to the river and it was just so peaceful and you're surrounded by such beautiful nature. And I didn't even start fishing right away. I just sat there. It was, it was just so good to be out of the hospital. And from then on, they couldn't get rid of me. <laughs> right now, Project Healing Waters is at over 70 locations. And it's at uh, service-connected hospitals, whether it's, it's run by the military or through the uh, Veteran Affairs. And every single location obviously has soldiers who participate in the programs. And every one of those programs also needs donations and people to help out, help out, uh, donate their time, anything they have, their fishing skills. and. Uh, I would tell anybody who is looking to get into it to at least give it a shot. You know, whether you're not into fishing so much, you, you don't care about the rush of hooking into a fish, you're still outside in the wilderness. You know, you're still out in the stream, you're still alone, it's still just you and the stream. He's not a mega beast. Nice yeah. job, But man. it is. It's on the fly. It is on the fly. First trip. Just stand right up there. Nice picture of him. Hold your fish. <laughs> hey, want to hold him? It's very sharp right here on the tail if you go back the other way. But you can hold him. As I meme him. Oh, yeah, that's the way. I already showed him the spot. That's the way right there. You can kind of paralyze him, and then once he's once he's calmed down, kind of put your hand under there. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. All right. Closer he looks bigger. That's right. Yeah. All right. Good, Good job, job, man. All right, thank you very much. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. By Motor Guide, never stop. By Lowrance, makers of HDS high definition systems. By Guideline, optimum performance on and off the water by Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. And by Thumbdinger, Buff Headgear, Scott Fly Rods, Navionics, and Loadmaster. You know, I knew that, that fly fishing was such an important part of this, and, and, and I wanted them both to catch a fish on fly, you know, and, and Greg had caught some stripers or, or blue fish on fly, but Diane had never caught a saltwater fish on fly, and to throw out there and, and hook up the jack and, and bring it to the boat, and she loved that, and that was great. But I thought maybe there was more, you know, and, and so I get her casting and practicing, and she gets it out there, and I have her pay out a little bit of line, that fly swings down a little bit and comes right back up, and sure enough, man, she catches a tarpon on her first <laughs> time out. Tarpon on fly, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, what we need to do is, Rich, you drive, I'll okay. stay with Diane. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it wasn't just like, you know, the tarpon just comes right to the boat. We had to go through the whole deal. As soon as you, hook, the as soon as you hook that tarpon, I knew, you know, 
he was going to take more line than we had, you know. So, you know, I went up there and threw that anchor, and I knew you had her under control back there. And that's where it got really exciting, you know. Got got on the reel. Now we got a tarpon on fly. He's going through the bridge, jumping around the bridge. It was just awesome. Good. Let him go through there. We want him to go through there. Oh, we're in the clear now, man. Yeah. Sweet. We get through there, and, and sure enough, man, she gets that, that fish close. And I'm thinking, man, I have a leader on there for jacks. I really didn't have a leader on there for tarpon. And it's like a 30-pound, maybe even 20-pound leader. That's going to wear through. I know it's going to wear through, so I better say something to her now. Almost oh, ready. Really? Look at that. Now, if for any reason he comes off, it's because we had a light leader on there, and he's just going to wear through it. But you've... If we can get that leader inside the rod tip, that's a caught fish. So just by donating their time and helping someone to learn how to fish or, you know, donating some fly tying materials, whatever, if people realize that, that that's really going to help this organization, which it will, I think that fishermen are going to pour their hearts into this. And uh, I just think it's a great organization, one of the best causes that I've had a chance to be around. Caught. Nice job. He caught it. Oh, okay. All right. Sweet. Well Perfect done. timing. Congratulations. <laughs> nice job. Perfect timing. Perfect. Well done. Nice job. Oh, Got it right to the tip of the rod. Carbon awesome. on fly. Well done. That's Congratulations. perfect. How about that? I'm worn out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Accommodations provided by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. Surround yourself with what matters most.